Gen Irrigation Systems is a leading provider of drip irrigation systems in India. Moreover, it works with farmers, it trains them, it provides them organic fertilizers, high yielding seeds, and it also purchases the produce from farmers. Gen Irrigation Systems has won the G20 Inclusive Business Innovation Challenge. And with me today is Dilip N. Kolkarni, President of Gen Irrigation's Agri-Food Division. Uh, sir, you know, if you had to just focus on the core innovations that have taken place at Gen Irrigation Systems, which one or two would you flag off? I know there have been multiple because as one traces the history of the company, you can see how it's kept evolving in response to farmer needs. But two key ones. Very important one is, you know, adopting the irrigation system which were used in West for a large farm, converting them into, you know, compatible models which will be uh, applicable to small farms in India. I think that transformation was very important. And complete handholding, providing, uh, you know, knowledge and technology inputs, uh, making them use properly and see that their productivity is increased. So we do a lot of handholding. Well, you do a lot of handholding, yeah. but you know, handholding means entering into a whole bunch of new businesses as and when the need arises to hold a farmer's hand in whatever form. Um, how have you managed that process? Because here we're talking about a company that started with a focus on micro irrigation systems and along the way its portfolio has really expanded in that attempt to handhold. Actually, small farmers, their needs are many. And we found that the needs can be an opportunity in business. So we converted needs into opportunities for our business. And your organization was ready to, I mean, ready to respond to the new business? Yes, of course, because uh, most of our new businesses are related to agriculture activity itself. And so they are all complementary and supplementary to the main irrigation business. Have you opted for a number of partnerships also to make each new business more viable and steady or is that? No, we don't have many partners as core partners in our businesses except maybe IFC is one uh, which has invested in the company. Hmm. Uh, and But otherwise uh, we don't have partners. We did a lot of acquisitions abroad and we have spread our activity almost every continent now. We have almost 26 manufacturing plants, 16 out of them are outside country. How do you think that Gen Irrigation Systems distinguished itself in this uh, G20 challenge? I mean, what do you think made Gen Irrigation Systems stand apart in a way? See, our technologies are economically viable technologies. We made it economically viable for small farmers. That was a very important thing. And all our products and services, they are you know, socially responsible and environmentally conscious products. So from that point of view, I think it's very important. The impacts are very, very large and long lasting. And so from that point of view, I think uh, we were the challengers for this G20. Here at Sankalp, the focus is always on social enterprises, on innovation within businesses that generate social impact. What would you like to see discussed at the next Sankalp Summit? Um, you know, how do you think that this conversation can move forward? What should be the key theme? I'm already talking about next year when we're in the middle of this summit, but what would you like to see discussed next see, year? See, actually the businesses and uh, enterprises can be change agents for social transformation. And I think from that point of view, we have to see that every business is every enterprise, every business activity is socially oriented. From that point of view, they can be a change agent, particularly for countries like India and Africa, where a lot of social transformation has to take place. So are you saying that, you know, uh, the conversation should include traditional commercial businesses so that they reorient themselves towards a social impact. I mean, right now the focus here at Sankalp is on social enterprises and socially responsible businesses. But I'm trying to understand, you know, what are good themes for the future or what are the themes that you see emerging for the future? You know, we have to create a shared value in businesses. We can't just go on taking profits and, uh, you know, give presentations quarter to quarter developments with respect to your profits. But what is important is sharing this profit so that you can increase your business and impact. I think that is very important. It's not that when you do something uh, socially responsible work that it is not cost effective. 
but it is cost effective and i feel that your profit margins and overall business expansion can be better if we are socially oriented companies well on that note thank you very much and all the best for the journey forward thank you so much pleasure